Okay, in this video, I'm going to give you some information and hints and tips on using the Samson bomb. Now, this is a very long casting surface sinking lure, so it's designed to be worked across the surface and not drop down, but it will sink if you don't retrieve it. It can be worked anywhere from a medium, medium to fast speed. It's probably at its best around a medium speed. The lure comes rigged with a tail and a belly hook. It's uh, wired through and they're virtually indestructible. And they're ideal for working in windy conditions, calm conditions. We've got a variety of sizes. They come anywhere from 21 grams all the way up to 150 grams, obviously for bigger species, say GTs or working on the Cape Cod Canal where distance is really important. Now, like all Samson lures, I would recommend using a rod with a fairly stiff tip. I mean, it doesn't have to be too stiff, but I would personally avoid rods with a too soft a tip, as you might find you're having to use sign of exaggerated movements to get the right action that you're looking to achieve. Now, they're going to catch a wide variety of species, anything that really likes a splashy surface lure. They've been very successful with sea bass, striped bass, uh, we've had a lot of kingfish on them, so anything that's looking for a splashy surface lure, these lures are going to be ideal. Now we've also got some airbrushed additions. This is a sand eel design with a silver foil belly. This is a chartreuse with a white belly. And this one here is, I think this is a 56 gram version. This is a mullet with a white belly. And we have got them in the, it's, that's in the original, is the white. Original is the white there, and we've also got them in a high visibility chartreuse there. Now the basic retrieve to this lure is just to cast it out to where you want and make sure you turn the bail arm over as soon as it hits the water. That way you'll be able to get in contact with the lure straight away, get the lure on the surface and get that nose working from side to side. Now the best way to work this lure is with the rod tip up and little taps of the rod tip. Like that, you're going to get the nose of the lure splashing from side to side across the surface. Now, you can work it with the rod tip down or somewhere in the middle, but up is a lot easier for a few reasons. It's a lot easier to get the action with the lure. And also, if a fish does hit it, you're really ready to strike and set the hook. And when the rod tip's up, you're going to find it a lot easier on your arms. And as that lure gets in closer, you can drop the rod tip whilst it's closer in and work that lure right up to your feet. Now you can work this lure at a faster retrieve with the same method, just increasing the speed of the retrieve, little taps of the rod tip. Or if you're fishing for something and you want less action like tuna, then you can retrieve it fast across the surface as well. Now the method to slow this lure down is by a slower retrieve and lots of little taps of the rod tip. That way you're going to get that nose moving very fast from side to side and get that lure moving slower through the water. Now this is going to work well over shallow grounds when you've got predatory fish maybe laying in ambush. It's also very effective when you're in a current and you can feel the tension in the line and you just want to keep that lure moving across that area for a while. Maybe you're around some structure and that's an ideal situation when you might want to slow the lure down. A variation to that is just adding short little pauses, not long pauses, just little pauses and then retrieve it through again. When you're looking for a splashy lure across the surface, the bomb is ideal for those situations. You're looking to trigger those predatory instincts, get a fish chasing, they see like an injured or a fleeing bait fish, and they think, well, there's an easy meal. Now, I hope this short video helped and gave you an idea in how you should be retrieving this lure. So basically, just remember, rod tip up is probably the easiest. Little taps of the rod tip, a steady retrieve, and you'll get that lure splashing across the surface with that side-to-side -side action. So thanks for watching and best of luck.